of a book. <laughs> Lots of barking today. So good morning. Um, those of you who tuned into our crazy little episode in the uh, grocery store yesterday saw that we were actually talking about, you know, things that we had seen. Uh, yeah, it's only reached 67,000 people. That was a little 600 shares. That was a little crazy. <laughs> uh, so Hugh was trying to get us kicked out of our local grocery store. Um, but we, we managed to do okay, but, uh, we talked to, we looked at the labels on some dry kibble yesterday, and then I got a couple of emails with people wanting to know about, um, if the same thing, uh, uh, applied to cat foods and also to canned foods, and yeah, I mean, we need to look at ingredients for that as well, so, um, I promised that we would go back to the grocery store and... <laughs> have another trip he says undercover i don't know maybe we need to go like bright and early in the morning when they open when nobody's there uh and we will do uh we'll look at canned food ingredients and we'll look at cat food ingredients but basically the same sorts of things are going to apply at least when we're talking about the dry kibble so tomorrow um not going to want to miss tomorrow because i'm going to roll my whiteboard over here and we're going to talk about some different definitions of um because i talked about yesterday you know if it says with it means it can have as little as three percent meat in the in the or 3% of whatever that ingredient is. If it says with meat or with rice, it can uh, be as little as 3%. So uh, we're going to talk about those definitions so that you will have a better idea when you're looking at bags and boxes and cans what you're really seeing. Yeah, none of you look at bags, that's true, because you're not feeding kibble. <laughs> so the other day, someone was in my office, um, Lisa, and she asked about my green smoothies. So Bonnie Hirschman was nice enough to buy me a very nice little Cavalier mug. Hugh has one as well uh, for our green smoothies. And she said, oh, I'm so jealous. What do you put in your green smoothies every morning? And I said, well, there are whatever's in the refrigerator. And really, that this is kind of the refrigerator dump every morning. And so our, our refrigerator happens to always have a lot of organic, fresh fruits and veggies. Our pantry always has nuts and flax and coconut and all kinds of interesting things. And so it kind of depends what I'm trying to do. And yesterday morning, I said my butt is being kicked by this virus um, or whatever that I've had really since the first of the year. And... I have so much phlegm in my head and it is making me crazy and I think that's why I'm so tired because even though I'm sleep sleeping all night, I'm waking up a lot because I'm being choked by what's draining down my throat. And so um, Scout has problems every once in a while. He will just get very thick nasal discharge I and mean, he's just snorking nasty stuff and I know it um, is stemming from the... Uh, really bad inner ear infection that he had that was so resistant and then he had the surgery for it but he still gets this sinusitis and really thick nasal discharge every once in a while and it's worse this time of year so he started last week and I said all right well we can put an end to that and so we started putting pears in all of the dog's food 
for, I don't know, we only did it for about four days, and his nose completely cleared up. That's all it took. He's black patent leather, no discharge, looks really beautiful. His ears look better than they have in a long time. So um, this morning when I got up, I thought, well, duh, <laughs> you know, heal or heal thyself. So this morning's green smoothie, this is a phlegm draining smoothie, and so I thought I'd tell you what's in there. So I always start with a banana because that gives it a little bit of thickness. Otherwise, they tend to be watery. You can put a couple of ice cubes in there, and that'll help um, thicken it up a little bit too. We use a Nutribullet to make these. So um, if you look at page 98 on the new book, for those of you who have it, it talks about phlegm, talks about the symptoms of phlegm and what causes phlegm, and then how to treat phlegm. So um, clinical signs, mucus discharge from the nose. Well, that's what Scout had. Mine's in the back of my throat, but it's still there. Coughing up mucus, um, dry eye, thick discharges, uh, waxy ear discharge in the dogs. Um, and phlegm is actually uh, bladder stones, kidney stones. Those are forms of phlegm. So, and you can have phlegm in your mind, which can uh, contribute to seizures and manic behavior. I, have, I don't have manic behavior yet. Give me a couple of days. Um, so what causes phlegm? Well, um, environmental damp heat. Well, in our house, our humidifier was accidentally set way too high. We actually had condensation in our vents and some of our uh, wood vent covers actually had mold on them because we had it set so high. And so when I went to clean out the vents, I discovered there were big puddles down in there. So that definitely contributed. And then wind causing drying of fluids. Well, my gosh, you know, New Jersey for the past three weeks has been the coldest, driest, windiest, disgusting mess. Um, uh, Fever and infection, well, this my staff is passing things around. Excess consumption of dairy products. So I rarely eat dairy products, but um, over the holidays, we had quiche. We had a couple of cream cheese sauces. Um, Hugh made some noodles with cheese on them the other day. And I always know if I eat that, it's going to make me feel terrible. Well, it contributed. So all those things put together, I ended up with this stuck in my head. So there's a list of things that we can use to help drain that. But I thought, okay, well, what am I going to put in my healthy smoothie that's going to help do that? So I put bananas in there, uh, my banana. And then um, I always use some greens. So this morning we had uh, broccoli and kale in the refrigerator. So I said, okay, those are great. And then I needed to get this phlegm drained. So I used lemon. And I just chopped like a quarter of a lemon and I used the peel and everything. The whole thing goes in there. Um, almonds are very good for draining phlegm. So I put a handful of almonds in there. It has ground flaxseed and it has pear. Uh, about a half a pear got thrown in there. So, oh, and asparagus, a handful of asparagus. So we word all that together in the Nutribullet and it makes a really tasty um drink for the morning. I have my obligatory coffee, which I'll probably be drinking on the way to work. And then I thought, you know, people ask what supplements I take. Do I take vitamin D, blah, blah, blah. So I thought I'd show you what I take. Well, Hugh and I both take. So we take a probiotic and we use VSL3. I actually use the VS... <laughs> Buy it on Amazon. Um, we actually use the VSL3 in a lot of do bigger dogs as well. Um, it's a really high-grade probiotic. It comes shipped overnight on ice. Um, we do take a vitamin D. And uh, we're taking 10,000 units because right now we're not seeing any sunshine. Really bad. I take less in the summer, but I'm outside a lot in the summer. Uh, we are taking the deer velvet. So that's um, the bioactive deer velvet. My son uh, carries this product. It's uh, Life Pure Recovery, or maybe it's purerecovery.com. Um, I'll get him to post it. Uh, great product. Makes my joints feel much, much, much better. And then we do take an omega-3 fish oil. We use Dr. I like this one because it doesn't give me any fish burps or fishy taste because I'm kind of sensitive to that. Um, and so I'm hoping that with a few of these drinks and some tea over the next few days, I've been drinking tons of tea, that this will drain and be gone. And um, 
I don't feel horrible, but I don't feel great. Uh, so we're hoping we can drain that. So I, you know, Scout could just as easily drink this green smoothie. It would solve a lot of problems for him as well. So these are the types of things that we do with food therapy. It's not just for dogs. Cats can do this. People can do it. The cats are tricky because you got to get them to eat things that they might not like to eat. Um, people, it's pretty easy. This is actually very, very tasty. Okay. Today at work, I get to do all of today's appointments plus all of last Thursday's appointments because we had a snow day last Thursday, so we just bumped them all to this week. So it is going to be crazy. Sweaters are off. It's going up in the 50s today. Yay! Uh, link for the deer velvet. Prebiotics are fiber. You get that in your diet. No, a healthy probiotic should not cause yeast. It should help fight it. <laughs> 